Hello everyone and welcome back today we're going to be playing some more of the Chandra Ramp Breach the Multiverse deck. I really love playing this deck honestly and Standard pretty much is in a kind of a, a stale place. There's been a new revival to it in terms of the decks that kind of done well in the challenge speaking of the Monastery Mentor deck. But outside of that the decks are kind of the same. It's a lot of people playing the archetypes that they want to play now just because the format is where it's at. But I really enjoy playing this deck. So we're going to go in. We get a lot of crazy wins. A lot of weird lines to find wins with this deck. So it's really cool overall. And we're just going to go ahead and hop into the games. I hope you all enjoy them. I really do. And if you do enjoy my content, please be sure to subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Let's just get out there and game. Okay. Um. I mean, should be fine. It could backfire because our field ruin might not have value. But who knows? Well, it does, so that's sick. But we also have a Celestis, so it works out even better. Uh, I guess we can hold the talking to him just in case it won't pass here. But I'd much rather play a Celestis than having used a Field of Ruin right away. There's a Denic. Denic is answered, but not if they play a Rafine, I guess. Plus, this is just mana efficient, so we'll just we'll just have them pop that. And then we'll just play to burn down the house. Let's play talking to him regardless. And now we'll play the Celestis. And we'll go from here. Adeline. Well, do I really want a Brotherhood and end this Adeline? Like, on one hand, I do. Or burn down the house is Adeline. On one hand, I do. But I kind of just want a big score instead. <sighs> yeah, let's just pass. Take a draw here. Get rid of this land. Because after the two treasures, I'll be able to slam a virtue or persistence if I want. There's a Rafine. A little of what I was afraid of. But. Triggers twice or once. Then it resolves, so it's C2, right? Yeah. I guess a mistake from me. I couldn't remember how that worked exactly, so they double grow it, which is like annoying on one hand, but like sure. Same time. And we'll be able to answer it regardless, but I guess we just answer it now and save a lot of life, right? Yep. That hits. Call it a day. So far they play another land. I kind of like just playing Chandra and then plussing, making mana. Uh, yeah. I'll play here, play Chandra. They probably have like a way to do it, but I think I just make mana. Plus two, make a combination of any mana. We'll just do double black here. So we have to do something weird. With the initial copy, we have to target the one one. And on the second copy, we target Rafine. Because if we don't do it this way, like obviously we can't pay the ward, so that gets countered. But if we did it the opposite way, where the copy would have removed the one one, we actually lose our virtue because of the way that it would go away. We'll do a burn down the house, not really looking to double that up. Because then it'll kill our Chandra. But what I was saying is if you use Virtue, the first copy goes on the stack, the original copy. And then it'll be duplicated. And then the second one will go in the stack. And the second one will draw, resolve first, killing the creature. The first one will no longer have a target, fizzle, and then your Virtue would have just countered itself pretty much. I mean, let's take an action. We care about the land. To some extent, yeah. Is it better than the burn down the house? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Also, we might find another land regardless. Let us plus here like this. You do have to be careful with Tidebinder though. That is something we actually have to watch out for. Um, or also just like a hard counter spell. So what if we do this like 
actually want a big score, I think. We'll just toss one of these. Then we can always cast, like, to go for the throw on their turn. I'm assuming one of these is getting countered. I would assume it'd be a Tide Binder. It stops the taunter, but I don't know why they wouldn't do it when I activated its ability first. You know what I'm saying? Like, why wouldn't they have... Why wouldn't they have countered it immediately? And then the Chandra wouldn't have doubled anything. But now we get to double the big score. Triggers, I mean, they counter the trigger. But then we still big score. And then we can go for the throw, the Tide Binder, and get whatever we want. And Chandra's still going to be at a lot of loyalty. So it won't make really a difference. It also could have not been Tide Binder. I have no idea. Oh, man. I guess we just hope the Field of Ruin and Demolition Field will pay off, I guess. Generally, any time I have, like, the early Iron Crag, I'm kind of wanting to play to it. Like, play the hand. This can definitely be where that type of mindset punishes me, but... It doesn't look like it's going to here. Play the Haunted Ridge and then just blow up their land regardless. Healing. Yoda? Could be. Now you're not going to be that big of a hindrance I think but let's go ahead and pop this cavern of souls especially if they're humans see if it is humans and it won't really matter that much because they won't normally play creatures with flash even sure there will only be so many basics that they do play we also are fine with thinning because obviously gr drawing to a board wipe would be nice for the throw is an answer. Rukathar could also be an answer. I can just play a big arch fiend and that kind of turn walls for a little bit, but I can also just go for the throw the tackle and I'll have the mana to do it. I can just kind of like keep wastelanding our opponent, maybe. Or keep hitting our opponent's lands until they don't have any more basics to play. You have another basic? Yeah. A lot of basics especially when you know they're probably playing like eight or so of those lands but i want them to be comfortable here so i can then go for the third tackle tapped out in terms of being able to actually play another packle so we'll get hit for four here on looking for a hard board wipe I haven't found out what the black man is for yet. Use that as an ambush viper, but we won't. We'll just play a big arch fiend and kind of set blocks up. And if they want to play a brutal star and take it, then sure that happens. Or they use a get lost, also happens. We'll just have to play two backs back, hopefully. Or if we can just draw a board wipe, that'd be sick. One of the seven that we play. Tali. Seems seems reasonable. Now we lose regardless, and it doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> just a card away, huh? Uh yeah, so we are officially dead. That's one of the most frustrating parts about this stack in general, is like we are so catered to playing against aggro that if I just have a board wipe, I don't think we ever lose that game. But I mean so be it. So be it. All right, we can go first. Fine. We'll keep this. Because I have a cliffs and I have this fast lines in my deck, I won't actually lead off the haunted rigs like I do pretty often. Because I have a pretty nice curve in terms of playing the cliffs, playing a swamp, have go for the third up, and then play a haunted ridge after, and everything is open and available. We'll do it that way. And land. Me and my opponent are staring at each other. The bat. Nasus underdog. Yeah, we'll get it off the battlefield now. We'll try to stall for time. I like stalling. Now we'll play this. We'll let them kind of commit more stuff to the board. Green black is just called Gari. So. Uh, the underdog is normally like a two of at most 
one of a lot of times kind of just used for like that Liliana for the veil kind of thing so here's the big issue we could play Archfiend and then get it removed which would suck or I can wait a turn cycle the Sokas on block and then blow up the rest of their board the only problem is if they just dash an underdog that like kind of doesn't work I mean if they end up drawing a card I'll let them I'm gonna play an Archfiend in the draws if I can set it up and then maybe take a turn off, maybe they want to play a tortoise, maybe they'll play Liliana, they'll minus, and then they'll draw a card, and I can probably sit in and take out them both. Or I say I can do one I can do one even better here. Because you know how sick burn down the house is looking at this board right now? That resolves. Guess what does not die to our burn down the house? Our queen of the dross. Guess what drains them for four? Our queen of the dross. And now they're already at nine. And this is already a two turn clock. And playing dashing underdog means they take, uh, they pay two life. Yeah, they would take four life to do that. Um, if they can't answer the arch fiend, they gigs me. Which is like reasonable for sure. Definitely reasonable. What do I want to do? Because on one hand, I could play burn down the house, hit them for three. Yeah, I actually kind of like that plan. Make three of these. Haste, it's aggressive, aggro. And then we have chances next turn to do some shenanigans in terms of like blocking and whatnot. Ooh, that's a life hunter. Minus three, minus three. Yes, it is. Now we threaten lethal like this. Back like this. They don't block, they lose. They do block, which doesn't then like it doesn't feel near as good for them. They have to block. If they do not block, they die. We don't know why, because we'll Brotherhood in, killing our own three one ones, and they'll all deal one damage to any target, and we'll target them three times. End up blocking. Good call. Good call, opponent. And you can play that back down as a land. I'll play a Celestis. A little fast. Now we're a mana away from playing the Virtue. What do you end up playing here? Camera bat, that works. And what, children? Probably. Yeah, we went from like winning to this. Like this. And I'll play land. They can already flip this, so it doesn't really matter. And we have an arch fiend in the dross in the graveyard, so. You know we'll reanimate here. We'll gain some. May lose some. Yeah, Terra Sunder, Besage you. Couple of options. Also activate that and flip it, but it does come up tapped. Whether they remember that or not. I know I forgot when I did it the first time. That's not very good. This is better. Go for the throat. Sweet. Well, let's do the math, I guess. If I kill the bat, they'll take two, go to five. I double attack. They double block. They get shot for two and they would like just live right we like really close pretty sure it's like really really close then they can't really attack me do it regardless we can also do it a little bit differently though just double attack 
We're hoping for a double block here. Uh, I'll have this thing here. Actually, found lethal. Never mind. Nuts. Nuts, chat. I stumbled through it and found lethal. Woo! <laughs> what a fun way to find. What a what a fun way to find the lethal. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, we'll keep got about everything that we could ask for Same scenario as the last game. We'll lead off the cliffs play swamp or play mountain We did play swamp last time and then hold up to go for the throat Then lead into the arch fiend dross. So this is the discover variation Which is fine Personally not a fan of that one, but it's okay we can diversify here and just keep our mana about as selective as we want it. Then we're going to kind of go all out here. They blitz so that'll die and they'll make a treasure. I am on the plan of... No land there kind of sucks. I kind of want to play... I want to play the Archfiend here. But if I play Archfiend... And I don't hit a land, it feels bad. But then I can play Chandra next turn, plus it, and then go for the third two things. I like that plan more. And then maybe I can find a breach the multiverse and against the deck that we're playing against is probably the best card in our deck. Oh, Shielded. I don't care about Shielded. Shielded the Gathering card. Do you care? Oh, sweet. That can all resolve. I don't really care. We'll pass. Take my turn. I'll draw my card. Um. Next turn, they can discover or they can deal three damage to this. It doesn't really do anything, right? Oh boy. I guess it's like, will they find haste? I'm not sure. Let's play the cliffs. Let's play Chandra. You could argue we're supposed to save a treasure. But if Chandra stays around, it doesn't matter regardless. Now we plus here. We'll do black and black. Then I much rather I don't play walkers. So I much rather do this, I think. Copies of mode and everything, so we get that off the board, and then we can call it a day. And the next turn, we can plus Chandra in terms of... Oh, what do I want to say? In terms of finding another instant or sorcery spell? Laps. Oh, God, what an awful card. One class is never good, dude. It never feels good. But it works out for him, so I can't really say too much. Uh, honestly, I kind of am just down to ride the turn. Ride the wave, brother. But the thing becomes a 7 6. Uh, let's make 3 1 1 then. We might have to have them shoot any big creatures later whenever we wipe the board. I have to assume this is the bigger version of the deck. No. Got it. What's your play? Got shielded coming down. Ooh. Fun. That's a good draw. We just got to get to it, I guess. We just attack. We can block. Doesn't really change our plan at all. Would only change it if we had a brother's head end, which we obviously don't. So, didn't change it too much. We'll deal five to each. 
now we're two cards to two cards. We'll both target them. Seems good. But can you tell that I have a headache from figuring out audio for the last hour and a half? Uh, some my buddy just got uh, Go XLR and stuff and just setting up his microphone and whatnot. And I was like, man, you really got me going through it right now. Like, I'm, my bad, dog. That's all good. It's all good. The only real problem is we know this Archfiend's pretty much dead. I think his Glissa was just like a, or this Graveyard Trespasser was just a savior draw off the top. Ooh, talking to him is pretty solid. Huh? I can get shielded though. Okay, maybe it's not the Discover deck. I thought it was based on, you know, what's been popular right now, but seeing Descendant Dragon tells me otherwise. There's a shielded. Order the gathering card. Can't really attack me, and I'm just gonna remove it. We'll drain him. The Archfiend. And then we want untap land source off the top. Preferably. So close. Oh, what an what an annoying draw. Because now I feel like I have to wait. Especially because this will flip. It doesn't have menace. It'll eat two cards. We'll go to six, and then it can just they remove our creature. We don't have anything good. Kind of don't have anything good. I mean, we have to hold it here. But I I have a sneaky suspicion that we're gonna lose our archfiend. Oh, cut down makes sense. Cut down's pretty brutal. Um, I have no other thing to do, so. Let's just hit their mana. Maybe they won't have another basic, but they most likely do. Two color decks play a ton, especially when they start getting into that 26 land territory. But, you know. Sure, we made it harder. Yeah. We pretty much knew that that was coming. I eat my arch fiend, eat another creature from them, you get hit down to two. Alright, here's the untapped source that we wanted last turn. Alright, y'all. I don't really have anything to do at instant speed. We saw an Atali go in there. You see a Chandra on their side. Chandra might be what we need. Go in our graveyard. Our graveyard, we're obviously selecting Atali. On one hand, I want to select Shielder, but do we just take a... I think we just take a Tali and we just wield twice for both of our decks. I think that makes sense, right? We still get to keep one, but we just get to wield twice instead. Uh, we want to put Chandra on the stack first. The Brotherhood End does not do anything. Just deal three damage. Then we can have Chandra deal one and one. But Chandra is now in play. So whatever I cast will get duplicated if we wanted it to. Uh, here, I guess. Then here, I guess. And we'll go back to daytime so we'll actually gain one life back. But that's pretty cool. And game ends in kind of a weird way. It's not necessarily over, but like. Definitely feels a little whack, that's for sure. Uh, well. Let's discard a card and we didn't autopilot our land in. So we didn't have to. Uh, that's scary because that tells me that their last card in hand is probably a shielded. But they had four mana, so I don't know why they wouldn't have played it. No, I was gonna say they had four mana, so I don't I don't think they would have not played the shielded if that was the case. 
my opponent goes first. We have acceleration like crazy and arts being to play like a turn early. If that's the case. So looks like it's the mirror again. Maybe I say mirror, but like realistically a lot of people don't play the version I am. Because everybody kind of talks about how the other version is the better deck, which definitely you can subscribe to. I just know every time I play the discover variation that it doesn't go well for me. Like it just never goes well. Um, a lot of times it just feels like I'm running into control, like in terms of like mono blue or something like that. And they just counter my discover spell or the other way around where it's just like um, playing against uh, like just hard aggro and I can never keep up. I'm just like, man, if I could only play spot removal, that would be sick. We don't have another red. Um, I could just big score. And I kind of like doing that the most here instead of playing an arch fiend, which is probably just dead. That's also not true. It could sack these and get rid of it and then cut down it. Maybe that takes a lot of pressure off. Is that worth it? Because then if I don't draw an untapped source, I feel so... Yeah, I just pass. I just big score here. Whenever they play a shield raid, and I'll just take a lot of damage. Why not? Sure. I'll take my six. And shield raid. Yeah, you wanna. I know you wanna. Wob next. No casualty? That actually works out great for us. We'll discard to this after we do the thing. Create a devil when it dies, deals one damage to any target. Fun. Uh, proving ground. We might have to play next turn, I guess. I'm next to the one. So I'm not opposed to this at all, actually. I'm very okay with what happened this turn. So I play proving ground. I can one, two, three. Stack, pull one of these up. Those are the only thing that's really causing me any kind of trouble. I could Arch Fiend. What they do? Plus this, and I can just discard. But I can also just burn down the house and just clean up this entire board and then just go next turn with it. Can I do it this way? One, two, three. No. I would be just short. I, mean, I guess we do it this way. Take one, but we get to clear the whole board. We might get hit by a land for a turn, but that's not, if that's what they have to do with their turn, then so be it. Update. They did something cooler with their turn. Not, not necessarily thrilled about it. Hmm. Is Celestis? And I guess we big score. If that's the case. I think I want to do it now. Because that means we have a chance to find something. Like a go for the throat. That might just save us for a turn. Miss. Oh, dude. Do I have to do this? I don't know. My cool with just virtuing. Just to gain a little life here. It's not. We'll just wait. Oh, more lands, Liliana. Uh. I mean, we're breaching next turn if they don't kill us. They don't have haste so far. I say so far. Oh, and Liliana is going to actually save us a little bit. Nice. This player discards a card. Drop it. What I have in here. I'm going to discard Archfiend, so I guarantee you have a hit with the breach the multiverse. We all know how breach works. Sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. You hit down. They have three mana. They could obnix me again. Be kind of tough. They choose not to. Let's play land. And the breach. I think I saw a Tali. It might be Chandra. What's in our graveyard? Tali. Sick. Daenerys. 
Graveyard Trespasser, which is dope. Pretty much. Our graveyard. One hand also charges pretty sweet because then we can double virtue the thing, but it's definitely got to be Polly. And in our opponent's graveyard, whenever it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, which is on the battlefield. I think I grabbed the graveyard trespasser. It also gains us a little life here. Get her, I suppose. Fine. I just hit another breach. Mama mia. No. Uh, should have done this backwards. Because if I would have done breach first, it would resolve second, and then we would have their thing dead, but I'm stupid. I want to shield it anyway, probably, to be honest with you. And I'll take a Chandra. Got a lot going on. I, I like this so far. Honest for four here. Then, honestly, no, I lose virtue here, but I think it's necessarily necessary. There's a lot of things I could have done that was better on that turn. I could have go for the throat of the smaller creature, so I could have double virtued the other thing. And as you can see, at least I can show the example of how the virtue works. Where like the first one targets the second one resolves first and then we lose it regardless Razor sure. Or skitter, that's fine I don't care about those regardless Hit both breaches by the way, so that is something important to bring up both of my breaches are gone But I'm flipping this Atali probably. Oh, we'll see what we can do with Chandra. Hopefully adding mana. Oh boy. Uh, is this just cut and dry? Just like duplex the board? It feels that way. I win that way. No, because I lose these. Can I flip if I add the mana? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I need 9. I would be... I have exactly... Oh, oh let's go. Uh, red, red. We activate this thing's ability. I can double count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I have to do it this way, I think. Then this, and we will double wipe all the board. Basically, it gets everything out of the way. Then under already doubled, and now we'll hit for eleven. Okay. It's not exactly this way, but it's exactly the other way. Because, yeah. So double burn does six to everything. Then we hit him for 11 infect and we call it a day. I'm finding some crazy wins with this deck. But, you know, it, it'll be what it is. Oh, we go first. Especially going first. This hand's really nice. Because with the Thalia that can maybe come in, this will be four mana and then it connects right into that. We just have to hope we don't die in time to it. We'll lead off the cliffs, we'll play a swamp, then we'll play a haunted ridge. Find other cliffs in between here and there, that'd be great. Domain will be kind of troublesome. Domain's pretty hard for us outside of like us breaching them. The two John lands seems like a good sign to say the least.
gonna go ahead and blow this up. Just make it harder on them if they followed up with both of these. If it was the main, I would see them float to green, go get a land, and then they could have cycled a herd migration. They gave us the info we really wanted. I just wanted to see if they were actually domain or not. Gunlands kind of leaves us off track. Or three. But, sure. It's all fine and good. We're just on the ramp plan now. We have it pretty well set up so far. What do I end up getting rid of? Probably Brotherhood in because it just won't do enough at any given point here. Then we'll slam into Tali and just hope it's crazy enough. Which it definitely can be. Not crazy enough to be stopped by a sunfall though, I guess. Still think I want to play a Tali first. I would much rather play a Breach with the Chandra in play. Here and then here, and then we'll just do this. And we'll find more lands, we'll find more stuff. 43, 43. We'll go down even further here. Now we have Go for the Throat held up. We have Virtual Persistence. And if they don't lay line binding our Atali, for example, say they play land and they play an Atraxa here, right? We actually are pretty close, if not have the mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're like really close to just flipping this Atali and finding lethal, but they get lost it, so that's fine. We'll get it back. Not that opposed. Do anything here. No? Okay. Well, what do I do? I just slam Virtue and call it a day. I think so. I like that plan. Bought this one. There's still potential that they could be playing counter spells, so I want to play around them if I can. Virtue's here. It could definitely go under a ley line binding, but if not, then reoccurring Atali's every turn will be a problem. There's the Atraxa. That's, that's a Magic the Gathering card. There's Get Lost. There's the ley line binding. Tap land, tap land. Tap land. All their lands enter tap. So we're gonna get a turn with this virtue for free. Unless they have the white man land in hand based off what their lands were. Um, sure. And we that with good faith, and we'll just you know have you stack. Like I want my bit. I want my brief hit. You know what I'm saying? I gotta have him hit. Started the land size. Hand size, land size. Land hand size. Follow me. Fire this off. I wonder if. Oh, okay. Two creatures seem really good together. I like them. Uh, we'll grab another breach. No Chandra, man. That sucks. Uh. You play creature land, so I'm gonna do it this way. Play the iron crag now, so I'll just do that as well. Oh, mama mia! Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Plus, and then big score if I wanted to. But I'm good right now. Honestly, this is also the wrong one to be targeting. Sure, it's fine. We'll leave it there. Now, play this. I'll go hands down for now. They have so much to deal with, and if they don't deal with my Chandra, for example, which they have the option to here, the Chandra would have been able to, which I guess they have to decide between Chandra and the Virtue. Um, 
which is fine. I'll just keep bringing back Tali. Or no, Tali and them got some fault. Yeah. I'll bring back to the arch I guess. Burn down the house. Let's play this. Then I guess we can just go crazy with the burn down the houses. Like turn up the heat really quickly. Uh, all in. Down on here, I guess. Or fly. Hit a land. Sure. We'll lose a second sunfall, I guess. But I want it to basically be a situation where if I get to kind of resolve like one more turn with these creatures in play. Another sunfall. That's brutal. Yeah, 21 cards. Actually, really close. Oh, it's haunted and getting hit, did it? No. Or did it? That's still in there. A proving ground. Let's activate this map. Let's target here. We have a couple of reasons why we're doing what we're doing. We want to cycle this talking Numa. We're gonna try to dig and find our Chandra as fast as we possibly can. And then we'll cast a breach twice and then mill out our opponent. Now is this just a little bit like a question mark play? Kind of. But is it cool? Absolutely. Incredibly cool. Bring up a 7-7. Seven, seven. Go to combat. I mean, realistically, I can just keep blocking this arch beam, but I don't really care to. Sacrifice to a token. Here. They can bring up the other one if they want. They can make a Miric's token if they want. Uh, which is all fine and dandy. Then they'll sack it and they'll still take some damage and then the arch fiend up top will still be good I can definitely block as well. Maybe they'll have a way to exile graveyards It'll be fine with me. I think With the potential chance to constantly bring this back every turn. Although this is turn clock is We're fine with doing this That opposed Close the game plan. You have for me, opponent. That's kind of what I figured was the plan, but not that, not that sad. We have no more basics. We can confirm that we do ha indeed have a Chandra in our deck. Just have to find it. Do this. Get rid of the cliffs. The cliffs. I mean, double Atali can kind of help us find our Chandra, I suppose. This. We missed Chandra so far. Um. Turn. Tully. If Tully hits Chandra as well, it casts it for free, and then we can breach him. Fine there. Arch being the draw, and the Traxa. Now we can have a Traxa set up for the turn. I mean, unless it's the last card in our deck, then that would suck, but regardless. A decline. You're not the last card in my deck. Thank you. Grab this. We'll grab this. I guess I'll grab this. That up. 
then I could just do artifacts, which would get like this off the battlefield, this off the battlefield, but it'd also blow up all mine. I'm not that opposed. I'm not, I'm pretty opposed to doing that. So let's just play an arch fiend as well. We'll just set up to basically mill our opponent. Also taking a ton of damage here. If I get to go for the throw throw thing. Again, life. So life is what they're afraid of right now. You have a lot of board presence. And there's one, two whites there. There's three. They have one more sunfall, maybe even a farewell. They kind of suck. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, six, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Four, six, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13. Exactly. Destroy. Take like fine them probably comes up oh and they're gonna tap out for me let's go will not matter this is when we do it we just can't uh cast a big score which we know is in our graveyard but uh my turn. Uh, 717. Play Chandra. Cast Breach. I don't really have to do anything else. Hits. Been. I guess the Traxo will do it. And then we'll mill them for another 10. And they only have seven cards left. Can we mill them <laughs> completely? I, I don't know if we can find any crazier wins just in general than what we have found so far playing this deck. Like we've had to mill out our domain, domain opponent. We've had to figure out a way to attack with one ones and find lethal that way. It's been a wild ride already and I don't know what to say about it. What's this saying? And we have to maul that to pretty much find the same hand. Uh, keep six. We'll throw this away. Uh, lead off with a haunted or a haunted ridge. Mm, gonna cap it, I guess. But not that it really does much in that matchup, regardless. Uh, it's just blue white control. If you're all ready to just sit here forever. When we find value off this demolition field, we'll probably end up just blowing. Oh, and maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. It's Azorius mid range. Brutal. You know that if we tried to activate our demolition field, they can actually tie binder us here. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? Oh, big score. I like big scoring. I like big scoring a lot in this spot. I'll just find a land. Discard a card to nothing. Hit a land. An untap land. I should have specified. Plus, sure. I mean, realistically, you hate everything about me, don't you, game? You really don't. Uh, it'll only be four mana. You're so brutal. So brutal sometimes. If we can kill this whole board, and I think we have to. I don't think we can afford to just like not do it and then this is too slow so uh, let's wipe the whole board i love tap lands they're my favorite lands oh nothing why did i do that i should have slammed the black leaf cliffs i don't know what i was doing playing an arch fiend of the dross i guess just trying to force him to do something sure I mean, I had to assume it was a counter spell or something. You don't just pass with five mana up for no reason. Uh, kind of what we want. You know, just I'm draw a card. That is an interesting fact. 
Go in. There's his Chandra. Uh, what's my opponent's graveyard look like? You're gonna give my spells flashback? Are we serious right now? Uh, what is their Teferi currently look like? F5? Their graveyard look like? Is it Milum? Is it Milum for a ton? Then Atali them as well? Yeah, honestly? You know what? We're gonna be that guy. We're that guy today. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna decline to cash and make this spear. I'm good. I will shatter your nice. Point two cards left. Oh, sunfall. I'm so surprised. I get to play this and give my instant speed felt rebound. Oh, it's so sick. It's so sick. Get you down. Become subdued. Start this train. Oh, you know what? Spell having instant speed is really cool. This one. You're not instant speed, you know a card is really cool, just to cast. Uh, that's a Chandra. Hey, you have another Jace for me. Listen. I don't care that I'm milling you. Where are you going? Where? Where? You want to play the Jace mill game? Then play me at it. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm just like notorious for playing a deck that's slow and then just my opponent going like uh, Escape the creature mill half your library Jace mill you Jace mill you good game and I'm just like I'll do it back to you I'll do it back. I don't even play but Yeah, no this deck's sweet. I just it's weird. I Don't know how I truly feel about the Jace mill win con. Okay. Well uh, This deck Seems to still just be really good. Uh, I don't know. Uh, standard's kind of in a boring spot. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really know what to play in standard. Um, obviously, the Monastery Mentor deck's really cool. It kind of just came out and kind of sparked a new... Like, just sparked a new archetype kind of in the standard space. But it's... I don't know. Is it weird? Because, like... I didn't find out about the deck till late, so kind of everybody's playing it, and I'm just like, well, I don't want to just play it, because then, you know, now I'm fighting with all the big dogs and just getting kind of drowned under their videos, and that just happens whenever you're a smaller channel, regardless of what you do. So I was just kind of like mucking about, just kind of playing what I can, but the only problem is this month is not even the drop of the next set. I'm pretty sure the next set doesn't drop until next month. Uh, so it's January 7th now, and I don't think the next set drops until February. It might be early February, but I'm pretty sure we still have some time before Standard kind of gets another fresh jump in terms of decks to play. But this is also one of the fun decks I enjoy playing. I played it on New Year's, the deck I played. I had to breach into the New Year, and I still enjoy it now. We get to find a lot of fun ways to win the game, a lot of weird, unique ways that you can't really figure out in other decks. And a lot of that comes down to burn down the house shenanigans with Archfiend. And the other Rakdos deck that went around, the Discover deck playing the Dinos and the Discover type creatures, I still really like it. Every time I play it, uh, it actually goes like really poorly for me. I lose some games just to myself, and then I lose some games because I just like, I either play the worst matchups I could physically play for it at least it feels that way like I just I'm like even if I hit the big dino one curve or even early I'm just like I don't know how I ever win the game that I'm playing because I just never feel like I can answer enough of their stuff but here I feel a lot more at home because I can remove everything my opponent plays this deck is just like really nicely catered the best of one and especially in towards aggro now control sometimes we lose just because of the nature of control being like 
play Jace, Milu, not a whole lot we can do to stop that. Or like they gain so much life where Archfiend is nowhere close to being able to kill him. And then we just find that Brotherhood ends a dead card. Archfiend becomes a dead card if they gain so much life because then we're afraid to put it on the battlefield because we'll never get them clocked down on time. And then burn down the house is like an okay card in terms of making one ones. It gets a lot better if we have a Chandra, but Sunfall negates the fact that whenever they die, they ping them because they don't die anymore. They get exiled. So it's a little bit awkward there. And then our game plan has to kind of be like play Chandra, cast a breach, mill you for 20, grab your Jace, um, mill you for another 20 or whatever, or it's 15. So we get to like barrel them for 15 and then hope like our Atali hits well enough that it's maybe another Jace or something like that. We never really know and that matchup just becomes really complicated and awkward and i don't really like the way it plays out overall because then it's just like how lucky can we get when we cast a breeze or how lucky can we get that they don't cast jason millis in time and it's just like a complicated game that is really weird and awkward to play but you can see against like domain we milled pretty well against aggro we feel pretty good uh mono red sometimes you can get blown out depending on how greedy of a hand you keep if you're able to keep kind of like a two drop in any of these spells, like any two drop into a Brotherhood end or like an Archfiend on turn three, you could sometimes get out of the games. Even a big score can sometimes do it because then you can cast a breach. You'll hit like a burn spell from their deck, which isn't, or you'll hit creatures, but then hopefully hit a Tali or a Chandra and you can start popping stuff on their battlefield and you don't have to worry about a whole lot. But you can definitely get ran over by aggro pretty quick. Thalia sometimes can be kind of annoying, but board wipes generally answer that deck pretty cleanly as well because the toughness never really grows that much. The only real downside against that deck is an Adeline. Adeline's pretty strong against you. But if you do get to connect the Brothers to the end into an Archfiend, into a burn down the house, Adeline doesn't ever generally become a problem there. And it actually becomes a liability because the Archfiend will kill them based off of the burn down the house, killing all the creatures and draining them for two for everyone. So it's a little weird, but I love this deck overall. I really enjoy this version of Rakdos. I just love the big ramp deck. It's kind of just like more focused on winning the game than domain is where domain's just like, I'm going to ramp. I'm going to play an Atraxa. Hope it's enough. If it's not, then I'm going to dirtle around with drawing cards and then hope I find another one and then answer it. Is it enough? Okay, if it wasn't, can I cycle? Can I play a herd migration? Are these five fives enough? Are the three threes enough? Five of them? You're like, no. Ah, uh, whatever. This one feels a lot more like I'm trying to win the game or I have multiple avenues to win different games in different ways. So I like it a lot. That's like that. That's all I really got. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.